Bon dia, Rita. Bon dia, Nick. Good morning. Hi. Um, well, this is something rather special today. It is. I'm really excited to show this uh, property. It's just amazing. Um, whereabouts are we? We are in a small village called Paso, um, which is in the um, region of Villanova Teixeira, Goish. We are about 40 minutes from Coimbra. Villanova Teixeira is 10 minutes. Goish, oh, no, sorry, five minutes. Goish, 10 minutes. Lusar? Lusar is about, I think it's about 20, 25 minutes from here. Okay, and you'll find everything you need in one of those Villanova towns. De Villanova de Seda has a primary school, a, a supermarket, ATM, really good butchers, hairdressers, five Bank. minutes. Um, I, d I think maybe yes, okay. but definitely an ATM. Okay. Goish has more, uh, a bigger supermarket, more restaurants. Um, both have really good river beaches. We're on the river Sarah. Okay. Um, this house is just incredible, folks. Um, I don't normally kind of want to move into a house, but um, I want to move into this house. Um, should we start with the price? The price is 370,000. 370,000 euros. So any viewers, if they can lend me 370,000 euros, or just buy the house and let me stay here forever, that would be great. <laughs> it really is something it's, incredible. Yeah, it's really stunning. The land, um, so essentially it's um, three stroke four bedrooms, but it's very flexible at the moment. Well, I'll, I'll describe how the current owners are using it. Um, but yeah, as I say, that's flexible. Um, it's on three floors. Okay. Um, it used to be two buildings, but it's joined by a, a bridge ex extension these days. Um, the top floor is a studio for an artist. The, ground, the, the middle floor is the main living, kitchen, lounge, bedroom, conservatory, another bathroom. And then we're going to go down to um, two bedrooms and another bathroom. And then under the the far bedroom, there's a workshop. I will just say the, the bridge extension is fully enclosed and a, you know, a living space. It's a living space. It's like a sort of conservatory lounge, you know, a place where, well, I'll explain when we get to it. Okay, and how much land? There's 8,000 square meters, which is two acres. Okay, and there's also a water mine. There's a well, a water mine, there's a pond, which could be like a natural pool. It's, it could so be a natural pool. I mean, it's not full at the moment and needs cleaning out, but you yeah. can see the potential for having somewhere to just float in cold water. Just dip, yeah, if you don't fancy the river, your, you your own river. <laughs> yeah. so, so the property goes, so there's this piece of land which the property sits on, and then is there a track? There's a track, we'll, we'll go down the track uh, to the river later on. There's a track, there's the entrance track that comes in. I'll just show that. So it's pretty much a private track that just comes to this property. Yeah. Okay. There's actually just one other property on, on the track. Okay. Um, and I'm just gonna say that uh, there's so much to remember here. The other piece of land which um, fronts to the river also has a, a little cabin down there and there's a little jetty down there where they used to have picnics and dip their toes in the river. Yeah, nice glass of pims or wine or whatever. Be your verd. Okay. It's idyllic. Uh, where do you want to start? Um, okay, so we're going to start on the middle floor. And so if you'd like to follow me. Okay. And it's a shistu construction. It's, or is it sandstone? No, it's stone. It's stone, actually. Uh, river stone or golden stone. Um, as you can see, the gardens are all mature. Loads of flowers, mature trees. There's a vegetable plot on the other side. It's well established. Okay, I'll just quickly show that. So there's loads of different olive trees. There's lemon trees, orange trees, there's a huge fig tree. So there's loads of established fruit trees as well. Yeah, and then you have your cork trees and um, there's just so much to mention. Rose bushes and there's, there's, there's a bay tree. 
There is. Yuccas, there's, there's a round cork. bay tree around the back, I think. There's, there's that one there, and then there's another round bay tree. Um, and we haven't even mentioned the incredible views of the mountains. It's just... That, that's actually t towards uh, Villeneuve de Serra that you can see there in the distance. Okay. And then on to the, the mountains, which are uh, sort of the villages that lead up from Goish, Cabrera. Um, I, can't, I can't remember all the, the names now, but they go up and there's all various other river beaches. Beautiful. It's just stunning around here. Okay. Okay, so, so we go... have got this kind of covered area at the front. Now, I've noticed that the, the main property uh, hasn't been pointed. It's just traditionally how it was. But then in the sort of living areas, they've pointed them in to stop bits falling yeah, just down, to keep I guess. Yeah, dust-free. Dust-free, yeah. Yeah, low maintenance. Beautiful. So there are actually two entrances, but I, I mean, as you park here, you generally sort of come to this door first. Okay. Or naturally come. And also, if you park there and bring your shopping in, the first place you want to get to is... is the kitchen. The Okay, so the kitchen has a uh, really spacious, great big, you know, dining, lovely dining area. Um, built in kitchen, gas, cooking. There is storage heaters okay. throughout the house. There's also wood burners. Okay. Um, okay, so on this, this level here, you've got the kitchen, dining area, access to the rear of the property. Um, through to a bathroom, which is a good size. And you said that there's a bathroom on each floor? There's a bathroom on each floor, yeah. I think this is the room, the only one with a bath, and then the other two are shower rooms. Okay. Oh, being waspy. No, it's a bee. Whoopsie. And then we go through to the, it's like a conservatory lounge. It's a nice place to sit. You can open up the windows, the breeze sort of flows through. It's beautiful. And of course, you've got these. You've got glass. Are, are these bifold doors? Yes, they I are. I think yeah. they are, aren't they? Yeah. We're not going to open them. But just stunning views of the garden and to beyond. And then this is the, uh, the lounge. Rafters with sarking boards and two double windows. Now these windows, they look like the original windows, but I think they've been reglazed with double glazed glass. 
Yeah, they they have they are double glazed. And uh, shutters on the windows, which have been bespoke made for here, yeah. Grace and Ledger. Shut out the sun. Great storage, library. It's just, a, it's a lovely space, isn't it? It's a lovely space. And if, if you need an office space, then you can kind of be, be working in your office up above, but still kind of feel connected to the family. Yeah. Should we, Should we go up there? Yeah, let's. Lovely bespoke um, staircase, complete with the creeks. This is the lookout. There's also Calavage. But then why would you go to a river beach when you've got your own river? Well, Calavage, <laughs> well, no, exactly, you would just go here. But if you wanted to, you could, you know, you wanted to get a beer or whatever, then you can go to Calavage. There's a little cafe there in the summer. I mean, what a view from uh, your office space. And you can actually see the river, which is the River Sarah, through that point there. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, folks. Uh, okay. I can't see it on my monitor, but I guess you can see that. And these are nice features as well, the, the fact that they put skylights in on the um, these parts of the roof. On the roof, yeah, just to get that extra light in. And they open, so... You can let air through. You get the air through as well and access to the roof, access which is really roof. important. Yes. Um, and at, if I like to, I can mention now, they also have roof sprinklers. Okay. Um, just in the event of a fire, you know, they, they come on. So, so your house is protected. It's such a brilliant idea. And some, a little extractor there just to keep the air moving. Uh, loads more storage. And then I'll just quickly show down into front room okay um as we're up here this we might as well go into this room which is currently being used as an artist studio to the rear terrace, which is another amazing um, place to sit, have a glass of wine, take in the views. But it could be um, a little rental if, if required or for family that would come and stay. Yeah. Um, so there's this one and then there's another the other, the old building at the other end, that could also be an independent letting unit. Yes, it could, yeah. But this one has um, has the sliding doors, so the divider. So if you wanted to have a sort of lounge kitchen area and then yep. sort of sleeping space, yep. it has the shower room also. I'm just going to point out there's four Veluxes in the roof, which um, just give loads of natural light and then you've got these incredible double doors at each end i can't open that one because there's a big piece of artwork in front of it but you've got this incredible juliet balcony and you can hear the river oh and another old fig tree yeah and then the magnolia as the well magnolia yep established yucca and the terrace is going up to Pack Garden. Yeah. More olives. Um, is it a bottle brush tree? It could Rhododen be. Rhododendron, I think. I might, I might have that wrong. It could be a bottle brush or it could be a madronia, possibly. 
No? No, the one in the distance behind the yucca, I think that's a, a bottle brush. Okay. But I can't remember the right name for it. And then there's a series of gullies, which we'll see um, as we sort of do the garden tour. Yeah. And they come from the water mine? Yes. Okay. Yeah, just to get rid of the excess water coming down the and, mountain. And to irrigate the bottom terraces. Yeah. Okay, I'll okay. just quickly show this bathroom. It's just a little shower room. Again, beautiful ceiling. Nice tiling, double shower. Tiled floor. Where have you gone? Oh, I'm here. <laughs> You could easily you, get lost. You could easily get lost. <laughs> oh, just, can you just shut this door? Look at this door. That's uh, an original door that's been restored. And there's a part here that's been scarfed in. That was obviously, oh no, that was where the lock and um, key and latch were. They've, they've changed the direction of the door. Okay, so it would that's a beautiful good. door. Okay, so now we're going to go down to the bedroom, one of the bedrooms. So this is kind of the primary bedroom? Yes. I love these stair runners. Yeah, they're beautiful. They are. Okay, so here we have principal bedroom, which is a Curious size. And just beautiful features everywhere. So you've got storage heater, you've got independent lights above the bed, um, exposed principal beam and floor. I like the way they've painted them uh, white because it just gives a fresher sort of feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's storage um, down, down the side there. Um, okay, under the stairs, there's some storage, uh, and I'm just going to point out the original oak lintels, uh, and they look like the original shutters. Or the schist. And again, I'm pretty sure they're the original windows, they've just been rebated to take double glazed units. Yeah. And a door out onto the garden. So I'm, sound, I'm sounding quite excited, aren't I? I think I, think I saw your bag in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and your slippers. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this is another bedroom with a bathroom, a shower room. Again, opening onto the terrace. Okay, so it's kind of almost en suite. Yeah. I suppose this could be a dressing room. It could be, but then this is so large that... Um, I know, but some people have so yeah. much money and so fancy shoes. clothes <laughs> and yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know if you've been out here yet, but... No words necessary. They, um, ran out of tiles here, I think. <laughs> It'd be nice if all that was done, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, and again, this is just a terrace where you can sit, have your morning coffee, listen to the birds. Stunning. Where now? Um, let's go up to the other bedroom, which is currently being 
used as a sew room. So we're going to go back through the lounge, so we're on the middle floor. These gorgeous double doors. Pointed stone. And this is going back across the bridge. Over the bridge. This is a lovely, I love this door. It's like a little old stable door. Again, two huge Velux roof lights, gorgeous vaulted ceiling, exposed timbers, and there's another door there. Yeah, you'll see that it's it's blocked because there's there's uh, bits they and bobs in the way, but there's um, some steps up. We can see that from the garden tour later. And I'm just going to point out as well that you've got two windows, both double glazed, and then you've got water sink unit in the corner. Yeah, that, so that could be like a, you could make an ensuite quite easily because That's the water's here. That's what I'm thinking, yep. And then onto a veranda. I love this space. So you can just pick lemons, or your June tea, or your lemon cake, whatever, whatever you fancy. Lemon drizzle. And you've got a wood burner out here, so cold winter nights, you could... Um, I don't think it's attached though. Ah, no, it's not. Yeah, that's a nice idea. You could. You yeah. Could. Yeah, roast some chestnuts. Yes. Um, and again, just everything. It's just big, chunky timbers. Um, there's no expense been spared. Everything's really well made. Okay, where now, Miss Rita? It's really beautiful. Just seeing the detail on the flue. Okay, so now we are going to go down to the workshop. Which is down below the bedroom we've just been in. Yes. Okay. So this is the other entrance to the house. And that's the door that was blocked. So I'll just point out that's the art studio, the big long art studio. There's the bridge there. Ah, and there's the door. Yes. Did you just say that? Yes. Oh, sorry, I was. And then we're gonna go down to the workshop under the bridge. These are the gullies that I'm talking about that sort of come down. Okay, so it's here, and then it goes then underneath, under the terrace, under the terrace and then to onto here. the land. They knew, they knew their water management, didn't they? The old Portuguese. Yeah. Well, this is a... Hey. This is the workshop. <gasps> Ooh, Ooh, steady. A bit sticky. Yeah, great space. We mm -hmm. could also make further accommodation if need be. Yeah. But obviously handy to have the workshop. Is this uh, where he made his frames? Yeah. For exactly. his artwork. Yes. Why are there three batteries down there? There's no solar panels, are there? 
there 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 is thermal solar here and i think i'm not sure if there is solar here now but there used to be okay definitely thermal solar uh for hot water is that part of the system I, it, um I'm not sure. I think I'm, I know that they used to have it. I'm not sure if it's still in place, but those batteries aren't connected, so I guess not. Okay, so we, if we go round to the rear of the property. Yep. Sorry, I'm just showing the stone because it's so beautiful. It almost looks fake, but it's definitely not. Okay, so now we're going to go to the rear which is um, the terrace to the rear of the art studio. And we'll go up to the pond, pool, tank, whatever you want to call it. So great access to the rear of the property for maintenance. Beautiful lintels. Is that the gas storage in there? That's the gas storage, yeah. I'm just quickly show that. Where your gas bottles are. This is where they stack all their wood actually for the burner. So I'm guessing with the wires there, was this for grapes to grow over it, do you think? Um they, was they, there was actually a shed here, but it it is it is to have a covered shaded area to so you can sit and yeah when it's okay. a hot day there's a wisteria here that's what it's for i guess that's ah. it was made for the wisteria and uh that that's jasmine isn't it yes that climber there yeah i'm just going to point out these have you noticed these this railing yeah that came from uk did it yeah wow. it's beautiful uh -huh. and then and then um the current owners made this terrace the curve to match the to match the railing yes we go up to yep. the top of the land So it needs, um, it's not, as you can see, there's no water in it. There, sh there really should be some. So it's a case of tanking it yep. to, to retain the water. Yep. Yeah, I was thinking that. It's a shame to cover the stones, but the only way to effectively hold the water is to tank, tank it. it. Yeah. And then there's a, there's a mine somewhere over here that could f feed it, and obviously rain naturally would... Yep. There's, a, there's another water mine on that side. Is there? Yeah. Okay. Is there two water mines or? I think there's just for this property, there's one just for here. Okay. On um, this side. Should we go up and around that way behind the tank? Yep. Um, do you actually, do you have a map of this place? I do. Can I show you? Is it the one that's inside? Yes. Okay, I'll yeah. take a photograph of that and I'll share it now. Um, okay. I also have plans for the property as well. What, the actual floor plans? Yes. If people want the floor plans, then get in touch with yeah. you via WhatsApp. Okay. Uh, details are in the description. So 
So where is the well? Um, I'm not sure. It's but over. It's located over there somewhere. Okay. So if you go, if we go up here, I had a, um, a recce up here earlier on whilst you're opening the doors. Okay. And if you look over by that um, IBC. Yeah. We keep going across. Yeah, that's not part of this land though. Ah, that okay. belongs to, that's not. That's not part of this? No. Okay. It kind of sort of cuts up to this point here. And how far up here does it go? To, to the, the tree road. line. There's a, there's a track that runs behind the track. here. Yeah yeah. 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 Okay. So you can kind of the, get the um, gist of the, the land. The well is a covered well. Yeah. So it's it's just it's got a placker on it, so it's like a concrete, you know. And so, it, but it, it does it does have a feed yeah. and a pump that will feed the gar the vegetable garden. Okay. Is it a stone well? I don't I don't I haven't seen it to be honest with you. I'll go and look now. not on this terrace. Let me see if I can get up there and have a look. Ah, there's kind of some steps up there. Yeah. I wonder whether it's up and beyond. Maybe. Let's have a look. So is that the track then, I guess? Yes. So that's the boundary there. Do you think it's that there? Yeah, possibly. With, with the green moss on it. Maybe. I know that they covered it over because of, you know, fear of kids or, you know. Animals. Animals falling in. I think it's the law now that you have to cover them up, isn't it? Yes, or fence them off. So now we're going to go down to the vegetable garden. I'm just thinking maybe we, maybe this, we'll go this way. It's quite tricky to navigate when the grass is high. So this is the vegetable garden. So this is the vegetable garden. Compost. It is a good weed, but they just haven't been here. So polytunnel, those are beautiful flowers, strawberries, asparagus, beans, Onions. Onions, it's just amazing. Cape daisies, Achillea. 
Ah, ah. grapefruits. Huge grapefruit. Huge grapefruit. There's pomegranate tree there. Lots of citrus. Second terrace of the veggie plot, there's asparagus. Oh, you can picture like asparagus. Uh huh. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> um, if we go down this way. Okay. Oh, it's delicious. There's another store. There's two stores for lawnmowers, strimmers. There's one and round a, there's the another other one. side. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lovely little stair. Yeah, I'm pointing, I'm filming that. Okay, so how do you get to the other piece of land? Okay, so we're going to go this way. So can we can we walk down this terrace and then back? Okay. I'm guessing it's that way. It's that direction. Oak. They've recently, well, they've planted some, there's newly planted citrus trees. Probably three years old. Peach, cherry, beautiful flag irises, Mexican lily. Um, so this part here, which I'll show on the map, is also part of the um, land. And you're saying that there's a possibility that this piece of woodland here, this could possibly be for sale in the near future? Yes. Okay. Uh, did you bring the key to the summer house? I couldn't get in there last time actually, uh, okay. so no, but there is a glass window, you might okay. be able to peer through. Okay. So this is the end um, here. This is the boundary. The wall, yeah. Yep, okay. Do you want to look up at the... Wow. That's where, I, this is where I should get the thumbnail from. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and this meadowland, this is all part of? This is part of it, yeah. Okay. So the boundary is about here for that portion of land. Yep. And then we come to this sort of cross crossroads. Yep. Which is an, um, an old pilgrim track, apparently. Oh, okay. Um, so then we have to cross it strategically. Um, also, I was talking to the owner, you, this track, could be a direct instead of if you had for example glamping or whatever some sort of camping thing going on this track could bring your clients in direct okay as a, you know not disturbing you up there okay yep
spot the cabin. Is that it underneath there? So it's got a living roof? Yeah. Ooh. It's made out of stone, has a living roof, and then this um, shade structure. So the land, this second parcel of land starts around here? So it's, it's this part here. Oh, it's from, from that from track? The tr from the crossroads that I mentioned, the okay. muddy yeah, yeah. down. Basically the clear area. The clear area. And then this small terrace. The reason why the cabin is built here is because rare times the, the river land does flood. Okay. If, for example, the dam gate is open, mm -hmm. then the, the river can come up quite. Okay, so that is a flood, flood plain. Yes. Okay. But I think, you know, from March, April onwards, you're safe. Safe. Yeah. There is a key in it, but I, I don't know if you want to have a go. I'll try. Hang on, I'll just pause the, for, pause the filming. You couldn't open the um, little summer house, but it's about how big? It's about four metres by five metres. Okay. Um, it's about 20 square metres, more or less. Okay. And it, and it has, um, currently it has sort of deck chairs, bottle opener, you know, like cool all the bag. All the important things. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe some fishing rods. I don't know, you could have whatever you want. You could, yeah. Rather than going, oh, I've forgotten, I've forgotten this, you know, having to run all the way back up to the house. Or you could put some little camping beds in there and the kids could go camping in it, which they would yeah. love. Yeah, it could be... Or, or you could maybe rent it out. Or you could make it habitable yeah. and uh, have a little, another little Airbnb. Yeah. So over the little bridge, watch out for the trolls. <laughs> I was thinking that when you were talking about the bridge at the <laughs> other house. And this is just stunning. So it's all this cleared piece of land. Yes. If you cleared some of the trees, you could put a five-a-side football pitch in there. <laughs> I don't think so, Nick. Oh, that, sorry? I don't think so. No? <laughs> Maybe just me then. I was thinking about just sowing loads of wildflowers. That's another option. I'm just going to show it from here. It is just a beautiful space, beautiful private space. And here's um, the river. Yeah. So this, we can't really get down there actually because it's a bit boggy, but... Can you see the jetty? That's the sort of little, little plateau that you steps down. It's kind of overgrown. Is this part of it? Yeah, they sort of made the... What do you call it when you weave the um, sticks? It's not basket weave, it's... Anyway, they, that's it's the sort willow. of... It's yeah. willow. Willow craft? Okay, and I'm going to see if I can show the river because it's absolutely beautiful. Ah, look, there's something here. There's some kind of ramp. Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe that's the little plateau. Maybe this is it. Oh yeah, look, and then you can go, go down the little steps, ah, access the river, there. which is why they created it, so they could Actually, easily, easy access to, into the river. Oh, the river's beautiful.
So in the summer, obviously now it's sort of high, it's high because of all the rain. Um, but in the summer, there are, there's a series of smaller pools for children okay. and then the deeper pools, deeper parts to have, a, to have a swim. Okay, so you can swim in there? Yeah. Well, what an absolutely joyous experience that was. Um, I love looking around other people's houses, especially when they're as beautiful as this. I know. So all this for 370,000 euros. Um, for more information, um, get in touch with you via WhatsApp. Yeah. But yeah. Should we talk about um, mains water? Did you do that? We've done that. Mains water, mains electricity, so um, solar was... water heaters, gas cooking, 5G internet connection, so you can get a screamingly fast internet connection. It's um, you've got all the bases covered. Yeah. Okay. Um, amazing. Thank you, Rita. Thank you. Uh, Thank let's you. Get My some, pleasure. Let's get some drone shots. Yep.
Oh, oh, oh.